games. Hey, what's up, everybody? I feel like that's what I see the most. And a lot of it is like that movement speed, just how often it procs. Because then you're running around faster off of that, you're running faster with swiftness boots, and all of that makes it charge faster. Because the more you run, the faster the energized charges up again, the more shots you get. So it feels like when you're combining it with fleet and swiftness and fourth shot and all this stuff, you're just like always running around and you probably get to proc it, you know, several times in a fight. That's probably the reasoning for it. I thought one of those items used to like make it charge even faster, like 25% faster, but they may have taken it off. I think that used to be on rapid fire cannon, but I think they got rid of it. It was kind of weird, but... <clears throat> yeah, I think double zeal early is probably a little awkward. I think your damage is going to be too low. If you try to do, like, Storm Razor into Rapid Fire. Oh yeah, definitely have to be too low. Yeah. Especially rapid. It's just like that that one is really cool, but thirty AD is pretty low. Well those I mean, that's just like the super utility one. Um I mean if you do combine it with Storm Razor, you would get more of those like really long range shots off, but it's not gonna matter if you're tickling them probably. Uh, okay, so they actually buffed Smolder a little bit this patch. So I guess I'll still just get rid of him. What did I do? May not be necessary, but. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're talking about Jin. That's who he's been playing lately, and there have been some Jins that have been messing around with double. Um, double zeal items you're right it is really weird on most because a lot of champs will get kraken or something else Jin's, i think one of the only ones that gets um storm razor early and it's like rapid fire is just particularly good on Jin because you if you have it with your fourth shot like that's such a huge deal but it is a little awkward but we were just saying that it's very often that he will get double zeal somewhere. Like he'll maybe get rapid fire third or something. It's pretty common. But Storm Razor just got nerfed. That was kind of the secret tech that Jason was running last patch. Not, I mean, most ADCs got it, but a lot of people didn't get it on um, Jen. But it's like that wave clear is still so good, and we were... Yeah. Uh, Jason won, I don't even know. Like 12 in a row. Yeah, 12 in a row or something. Not just off of that, but that certainly was a piece of the puzzle. Uh, Rakan into Janna is a little weird because Janna is a soft counter. But it is what it is. Oh, they're busting out the Skarner. They're all AD too. Against Mundo. Yeah. Well, are we... Oh, we're all AD, too. Oh, I didn't realize that. Both teams are all AD. I was talking about them. Interesting. Skarner every game boring. Of course, dude. Any new champion. Like, is this your first game of League? <laughs> is this your first week of League? Like, of course people are going to spam anything that's new. I'm a golden emerald game for League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. So I don't know, so we're seeing, but yeah, like static, the wave clear is just so good though. And in team fights, right? Like you hit somebody with that static, that's throwing out like 500 team fight damage. So it still is competitive. We are do looking at the cost analysis. It's still like 
cost efficient without the passive after the nerf. So it was like turbo strong before the nerf, but now it's like the question is, do you want to go storm razor? Why would you do that? Well, I tried to give it to somebody else, but at least we got his flash. Yeah, we're not gonna get any more than that. No, 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 dude. We're not. You're not gonna get him. Don't, don't risk the death. So the question is, do you want Storm Razor or do you want Static first? I think that's pretty much what it comes down to. Do you want the Wave Clear? And Storm Razor is. Damn, do I not get extra gold yet? Well, I guess I'll just get health. I kind of wanted to buy like an amp tome, but no items that I can buy now early that I usually want to buy have an amp tome. I wish Shirelia's was a little more viable, but. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome. I do play a lot of Recon. Not a challenger, but. I do kind of try to stay in the know as much as I can about stuff. I think my knowledge is like, okay, it's, you know, a lot of what holds me back is just kind of my decision making sometimes and my mechanics. And obviously, I, there's still a lot I can always learn, but hopefully I can give you some good advice about things. Um, yeah, that's just what we're considering. Like Storm Razor, it costs a little bit more gold, but you do get more AD off of it. The damage in team fights is probably less because it's not AOE. It doesn't give you wave clear, but you do get the movement speed, so that helps you kite or run people down. It's kind of weird. Like I stopped her from running. She's got lethal, so if the fight goes pretty long, she's going to get an edge the longer the trade goes. Okay. We probably want to keep them short and bursty if we can. Um, and then Collector is something... I think Collector did get nerfed a while ago, but it's still people still get it on Jin sometimes, and it's nice because it's lethality plus crit. I think it's the only item that's lethality and crit, or one of the only items at least. Is there a jungler here? Our jungler's here. And like, Sarah to Dirk is still, I think, really OP early on, so. You kind of get a lot of extra pressure off a half item, and then convert it into like a pretty good item that doesn't slow down your crit scaling. But I don't know. It's it's interesting the way that it's balanced now, especially on like Jin. There's a lot of different options for different situations that could be good. Oh, remember you want to walk into me if I've got that going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. That's what I was trying. That's oh, it's all good, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thanks for listening in. I totally know how that goes. Okay, Jen Jen's not here. She'll be here in time to do some stuff, but. At least get a couple of hits. All right, just run. Let me wait till Ghost wears off. Really? They have that warded? Come here if you can. Okay, I'm good. Wow, you guys live too. That's crazy. All right. Uh, Probably should back before I yeah, let's just go back. He's not going to be able to push it all in. Before I make a dumb mistake. <laughs> no, that was crazy. Y'all both lived on that. Skarner went after me instead of you guys for some reason. I think I'm going to go Storm Razor. Well, what do you think? Um, sure, try out Storm Razor. You try it out. See what you think. Don't they have some similar components? They have the same components almost. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of see how it's going, but... 
you could try it out, see what you think. It's one of those things where it's like you really probably have to like feel it and just see. They have the same components. Okay, nice. You just probably have to like feel it and just say how much is this movement speed really mattering? Am I still able to kill them? Am I still able to clear the waves fast enough? I'll try the movement speed just because they have the ring guard. Yeah, or the Skarner. Uh, and Skarner, yeah. Yeah. Chase me down. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. A nice little interrupt. It was cute. It was cutesy. <laughs> Trade. Oof. Took a tower shot. It's not good. Yeah. She took a lot of damage. It'd be nice if I didn't take that tower shot. But. she healing so much? It's just Dorans? Air Tornado's down. I don't know. Like It's tough because that, uh, that wave clear is just so good on static. There's Skarner. Yeah, it might be needed. We'll see. Just like tempo is one of those like just really low key things that like just be able to push out waves fast enough. Um, is he getting? Yeah, he's getting scuttle. Right, I think she's back, so let's go ahead and back. <clears throat> Jana's gonna catch it and lose tempo. Um, if I stay for a few more, I'm gonna get shipped pretty quick. Okay. Um, hang out for a cloth armor for five seconds. Okay. by there? God bless. It's not worth it to clear that ward to give away your location. He could have just come through lane. See if I can, like, if she's got a control ward there, if I can get her to fight over this. Okay, nice. <clears throat> you can always get the support to fight over stuff. Uh, I might go up there with him for this. Yeah, Skarner's up top. Can we...
Holy shit. Wait, what knocked me out? Oh, the Jace little swing? Fuck, alright. Well, that was a big mistake. GG, guys. We're down three kills in a platinum game. Gold game, whatever it is. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I guess we should have given it up. I feel like if Skarner ran up there, but he didn't, so I shouldn't have forced it. I kind of underestimated just how far behind Mundo is. So, tried to force that too much. It would have been for six grubs, but... Honestly, do the grubs even matter that much? Like, we won several games where the enemy had six grubs. It's like... Sometimes it seems good, but... Sometimes it's just like, ah, does it matter? Alright, I've got ult in 20 seconds. Whoa, they didn't get him? They just left? Okay, so we still get five grubs. Okay. Yeah, I've got wards. I haven't seen him yet, but... He could just be coming up lane, though. They are acting a little weird. I healed there. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I wasn't sure if how the... It was close enough. Yasuo might be coming down. My wards just went down, too. Yeah. Okay. He looks like he just warded. I don't know if I killed my ult. Why not? Why is it taking so long to get back to the action? Um... It was pretty close to on spawn. It was a couple minutes late on the grubs. They just didn't get him for some reason. Like, Skarner smited one of them, and then he left to go fight everybody. We get her. Oh, she's a corner. Okay, I'm backing up. Oh. Oh my god. What? Have my shield. God, is Jinx getting all these fucking kills? Uh, okay, I think this might be a Frozen Heart game because they have like all AD. So I think the first grubs come out at like eight minutes and then they're like when you clear them it's four minutes after that I think it might even be a little bit earlier than that it might be six minutes but they come out pretty fast and then they have a four minute cooldown and then rift comes up at 14 yeah, so that was awkward Jinx got back in the game off that um damn guess I'll try to just get a proc here Especially because we have grubs. Alright, let's back up.
I don't know why he's CP. I mean, top tower's down, so he's not, like, losing tower pressure. Now he will be, though, if he stays much longer. I can't hit it while she's here. Too much range, too much damage. Okay, I think Kha'Zix is going to catch it. Oh, now he's TPing. Okay. Wait, who TP'd? I thought Mundo... Okay, I don't know what I'm... What's going on? I thought he TP'd too. I thought it looked like he just TP'd... Maybe it was just a graphical glitch, I don't know. He's kind of strong, so we gotta be careful with him. Oh, I didn't even know blast cones could spawn over there behind the pit. That's interesting. So let's do it that way. Let's do that. What happened? She rocket somebody? Mm. Tank on. Yeah, because they're literally all AD. I mean, you pretty much always go tank on, right? But it's usually like Knight's Vow or something. It's usually like lock it in a nice vowel. Yeah, like the ardent sensor stuff. Got it. Okay, nice. Uh, you're just kind of squishier. Like right now the tank items are just kind of better, especially if you're the primary engage. Um, well. Uh, okay, yeah, actually, Yasuo is gonna be coming. Because he was middle and they didn't kill him, so. Sent close to the bottom wall. Yeah, he's right there, I think, looking for us. This looks like another dangerous situation. Thanks. Yeah, he get backed up. We can, oh, he's going in? Yep. Oh my... Oh, fucking Jace is there too. I didn't see Jace. Oh my god. A disaster. But yeah, because they're literally all AD, I was going Frozen Heart. I don't know. Maybe you're still not supposed to do that. And just get Knight's Vow anyways after the nerfs of Frozen Heart, but it feels like the attack speed really matters for everyone on their team, except for maybe Janna. I don't know how Mundo's getting annihilated that hard. Maybe Mundo's just that bad. He was picked in pro a little bit recently, so he's got to be at least sort of okay. 
Because he's an odd pro pick. Like, you usually don't pick him unless you think he's actually pretty good. Because it's, you know, his utility sucks. It's just like a numbers game. Can he just brick wall people enough, you know, to matter? just ran away. The dog could have run up there with me and killed him. Damn, we did really well bottom for a while there. It's just I rotated up for those grubs and that was <clears throat> that was a big problem. Yeah, I should have just not done that. Especially, like, it, like I said, if Kha'Zix went, maybe, but like, I knew Kha'Zix was backing. So I was thinking maybe I could stall it or something, but I should have just giving it up. The grubs really don't matter that much. Like, they're okay, but they're not, like, make or break a lot of times. God, how would... Oh, I should have gotten plated steel caps, too. I got Ionians. I don't know why I didn't get steel caps. I said they were all AD. Just wasn't even thinking of the boots. This Jinx is just fucking lighting me up, even though I have like a million armor. Just one item. Yeah, we just did not do enough to carry the Mundo. The dog feels pretty underwhelming too. I've seen him in a couple of games, but... Uh, yeah, I'll do that on the support tier list. Hopefully I'll have time tomorrow to do that, but... um. I mean, it's going to make damage supports weaker. <clears throat> which is going to make some of the, like, non-aggressive early enchanters better. Right? So, like, it'll make Janna a little bit worse in theory because she likes Mandate. She likes Zazik. Um, I think it makes Sona scale better. So, she does less damage early, but the AP ratio... Especially because she likes to get Archangel, which is a pretty big AP item. Um, her AP ratio on her W uh, healing is way higher. I don't remember if it's just the shield or the heal. Um, but I think that's a net positive for Sona overall. It's a nerf to Janna because of the Sazic and uh, Mandate nerfs. Nami scales better, but does less damage early. So if you're going to get a lot of AP items, Nami also likes getting Mandate. So I would say Nami's probably a little worse. <clears throat> if you get to like three items on her, the scaling is better off of her waves, especially in terms of the healing. But she's not really a scaling champ anyways. Um, whereas it's like Sona is and so I think Sona probably likes the changes and Nami probably does not like that trade off but that's going to make you know engage champs better engage non damage champs better because then they're not going to be getting harassed as much early on and a lot of those damage champs are going to be a lot worse on one item so like your Nautilus, Rakan, Leona Blitzcrank I mean, Blitzcrank uses the claw, but usually, you know, they're going to die if you hook them anyways, even if it does less damage. Um, Senna, you know, gets a little bit worse with the lethality nerfs a few patches ago, and now the claw nerf. Blood Song. So. Yeah, the, the big winners are the tanks. Or, like I said, the weaker, more passive. Like your, um... What did I do? Sonas, to some extent. Your Yumi's. Your Lulu. Um... Melio. 
Milo's not passive early on, but he doesn't get... I, I don't think he usually gets either Zazig or Mandate, so... What's up, B-Rad? I think he's either an Ardent Sensor or a Shirelius type of guy. So I think it's fine. I mean, did they need to do all that? Probably not. You know, the biggest losers are probably the ones that, like, get no compensation for it. So, like, your AP champs, your Zyras, your Brand, stuff like that. Like, losing the Zazic on that is just a straight nerf. Aside from Rakan, who do I think is good with Ezreal? Karma? Historically, she just got changed. I think for the better. But it could be for worse. I think it's probably better for support Karma, especially if you're doing the uh, Q-Max um, Malignants. Old push and poke stuff. With Ezreal kind of... Um, covers i don't know i don't think senna's dead i think she's viable i just don't think she's as strong but yeah i think historically the thought process behind like karma ezreal is having that like it gives him the extra push that he's lacking early on and just putting them under tower and putting that much pressure on them kind of conceals the fact that he's a little bit weaker you know early on for a lot of people so that like buys him time so other champs that can also push and poke are probably pretty good with him. So, I'm trying to think of who else. Like the flip side of that. So, push and poke is kind of the classic, the karma esque type of champs. The flip side of that is probably if you want to play something that heavy roams, like an Alistar, Blitzcrank, maybe Nautilus. You know, if you just want to strap on your Moby boots and just go sit on mid lane or go, like, fight for the um, the Worms and Rift Herald and all that crap, Ezreal is one of the best 1v2 laners because he can farm from so far away. So, if you want to weak side your Ezreal and just go roam around, um, then he's good with those types of supports, too. So, he's one of the best weak side ADCs if your team, you know, wants to do something, focus some other part of the map. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just said. But usually the classic, if you want a strong side with Ezreal, is Karma. Push and poke. If you want a weak side Ezreal, he's good at that too. Theoretically. Then you could just play a roamer. Worst stuff with him is probably enchanters that don't roam and are also weak early game. So stuff like Lulu, Janna, things like that. Probably not amazing with... Uh, with Ezreal because he doesn't benefit a lot from like the attack speed steroids ardent sensor that type of stuff <clears throat> yeah things with low play rates um, and high win rates does that give vision? I guess it Procs something so you can tell, but I remember if it literally gives vision. Um, but yeah, stuff like that with low win rate or low play rate, high win rate is either like a counter pick or so it's only played specifically in winning situations or um, it's just like one tricks that play it. So yeah, both of them are kind of weird. It does get vision, okay. It didn't put like eyes on my head or anything so i guess it doesn't like tag you with vision but it just shows the area yeah so last game i should have just stayed bottom and continue to just slam the jinx and just give the grubs or we maybe could have made up for mundo but jace was just like insanely powerful at that point and we just like walked right into one. him. Do what? He was like nine and one. Yeah, at the end of the game, at that point, he was probably like four or five and one. And, you know, if I would have just said give grubs, maybe Mundo doesn't go over there and die again. And they killed like three of us there. And then they all started just sitting on bottom after that. 
and shutting down our advantage. So it was that was the uh, big s bad snowball we wanted to avoid. Yeah, just run. We're level one. Yeah, Yumi's annoying. <clears throat> is he on hit? He is on hit bears. But they're very vulnerable to all in, so I hit him. As long as they don't get too far ahead. Have I seen the new Skarner yet? Yeah, he's in this game and he was in the last game. It was sort of tough to tell. He didn't look that great. But... Yeah, when I saw him, it was like... A lot of times when I saw him, though, they were around the enemy team that was really far ahead. But when we kind of saw him when they weren't that far ahead, he didn't look that great. See her sneaking out. I couldn't really do anything about that. I didn't have my CC. Nice. What do you think about uh, the static shiv nerf? We are Jason and I were thinking about this. Like, should you be going Storm Razor on Jin instead now? <laughs> yeah, we were looking up all the options. I still feel like it's pretty good. Like, it's still very cost efficient, and the wave clear is just so nice, and it does a lot of team fight damage. When it splashes to everybody. The Storm Razor does give a lot of movement speed. Lethality Gen, I don't know. I see people get Ghost Blade, but after the nerfs. Still like Lethality Gen. I mean, I could see like Collector second. We were talking about that. Brad says he'd probably switch to Ghost Blade. I don't know. We could try it out another game. I just bought Quiver, so yeah, we're, already... <laughs> we're doing it this game. We're doing it. Yeah, Ghostblade into crit after that. I mean, it does give you like lethality is very good, obviously, because Jin has high base damages and does a lot of damage with his spells. Doesn't get a lot of value out of attack speed, so like. I get it, but what about, like, Collector? Collector Rush, I guess, is a little weird. Okay, well, at least he traded. And Skarner got it instead of LeBlanc, so that's good. Ghost Blade, though? Okay. I mean, it does give the movement speed. Yeah. It is pretty good for roaming. It just got, like, the speed got nerfed, like, turbo hardcore for range champs a few patches ago. Collector situational. Yeah. We've been doing, uh, Jason was doing static into IE into something else on Jin and having a lot of success. The wave clear is just so nice on static. You get so much tempo. Like static plus grenade. Like you just clear that wave so quick for better back timings, rotations. Like tempo is just a really undervalued stat. I mean, movement speed kind of is too. Know where Skarner is. He'll probably try to counter Dragon though, so we gotta watch out for a gank here. We don't see him. Do you have a ward? Okay. Come up here and put right, right here. Oh, or, I yeah, here he is. Uh -oh. Yeah, just run, just run. I'm running. Just keep running. We're just stalling. Okay, they're coming. Cavalry's coming. 
I just gotta not die here. I'm pretty low. Have fun going in the traps, boys. <laughs> okay. Oh. Can we get that or? Yeah, they pretty much always try to counter if you get top grubs and they're not there to contest it, they're trying dragon. <laughs> no one wants to feel like you're just giving up an objective for nothing, so. Alright, just be careful. I'm gonna back here. I'm gonna be behind for level six off of helping him, but Wish Dragon gave a little bit more like XP so you didn't feel like you're falling as far behind, but that's probably part of the trade off. Yeah, Storm Razor, you still get the crit. But you do get some movement, like combat movement speed too. Which is nice. Uh, okay, I guess... I'm gonna respect their CC and get Mercs. Even though they don't have that much magic damage. I should have definitely gotten Tabbies last game too. Or whatever the hell they're called. Played Steel Caps. Tabbies was a cooler name. I looked at the win rates, and they were all about the same. I think Ghostblade was the most popular. Ghostblade might have been slightly lower than the other ones, but I think they were, like, you know, within a percentage point. The, uh, Storm Racer and Ghostblade were, like, less than a percentage. Yeah. And I think Static was very close, too. They're all, like, I within a percent. Static and Storm Racer were, like, less than a percent. Then, yeah. Uh, Ghostblade was, like, three percent lower. Oh, okay. I feel like it's a, like, it's a strong rush item, but... Yeah, Well, I just feel like your fault. If you're gonna get Infinity Edge, you want as much crit as you can get, because you're getting a lot of extra value, especially after the buff. So I just feel like getting something without crit, if you're gonna get Infinity Edge. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of smart people, a lot of good players that still get it. But just if you can really leverage the early, like, Dirk. What, his ult? Yeah, I don't know if okay. I should have or not. Uh, it's close with me not there. They could also be roaming down. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you'd hit that. and Yumi nope, was going to block nope. it, so... Nope, nope. <laughs> Take that 100%. Okay. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah. Because Yumi was setting up to body block it. Yep. Yep, okay. good play. Nice. Okay, Skarner's top. We don't know where LeBlanc is. I think we can beat LeBlanc. I got healed too, so... Okay. You get a... She ain't coming. I can get a plate here. Maybe two. Let's get two. Push this last wave and then run. Well, actually, it's getting a little spooky. He's here. Maybe run. I'm gonna try to get this ward. Now we're kind of pinned. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in back. I think we got some time here. <clears throat> I personally like AOE wave clear shit. Yeah, I do too. I mean, the wave clear is so freaking good, and it's yeah, like nice. it's also the uh, in team fights because it bounces and hits multiple targets. It's like quite a bit. You know, if you hit three people in a team fight with it. It's like 270 damage versus a storm razor hit is like 100. Plus it helps trigger your W with other people too. That's true too. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, when you hit a wave with it, it's going to splash on them and then you can get the stun with the W, so it helps you with that setup. Yeah. Storm razor though, I mean, I was talking I mean, I don't have a lot of ex Th these are like the kinds of things that are like you really need to just play it and feel what you need. It's hard to just understand or appreciate it with just the numbers. When you talk about quality of life stuff, like movement speed, wave clear. Because Storm Razor, um, when you combine that with Fleet and your fourth shot and swiftness boots, like, you're going to be charging it up, like, fast. Because it recharges based on how fast you move. Partially. And how fast, like, how often you auto. 
Um, okay, I'm coming in. All right, just run. I think we just back out of this. They're coming. They're going to clean them up. I'm too low to go contest that dragon right now. I know, Butter hates Jen. Aren't, isn't Butter the one that hates Jen? I'm pretty sure he is. I, li I like Jen. I mean, obviously Jason's playing it, so I like it. But even before that, he's just like... He just has a lot of upfront damage. He doesn't. You don't have to rely on auto-attacking too many times. So it kind of helps with stuff that's trying to blow you up fast. You can sort of blow them up fast. Um... And just that W is so nice for chaining CC together, like. All right, I've got ult and 15. Oh, there's top lane feeding again, but this time we can hopefully carry him. Damn, should have just jumped over the wall. I didn't realize it was that close. So I get the XP off of it. <coughs> It is I. Everybody's just kind of a hater sometimes of things. Okay. Oh, there goes all the ults. <laughs> there you go. Now he's learning. Yeah, it's like 200 gold is a thing. We'll have to see. It still is like efficient compared to the other stuff, just not like absurdly efficient. place to hit that dust. I guess he's just trying to find out where dude is. Paycheck, I have enough to build a new CC... <laughs> Is it worth? It depends. You want to blow your whole paycheck on a new computer? I mean, if if it's going to extend like your quality of life in a major way that you just can't achieve without having the new computer, possibly. If you use it a lot, if that's like most of your entertainment and free time and you're just not going to be able to play your favorite games or whatever without it then I think it's reasonable obviously on face value that doesn't look you know like a good idea but you know I think that quality of life does matter you gotta live your life so I think it just depends on how much use you're gonna get out of it right
motherfucker serious? Are they not gonna hunt him down? I guess maybe they're scared with LeBlanc. I think he just backed, like, right there where Viego is. Oh, no. Somehow he already ran all the way back. Okay. Getting married in August, which requires money. Guess it depends. Like, the traditional thing is the wife pays for the marriage. But you gotta pay for the rehearsal dinner. Hey, man. I ate at a buffet pizza place around here. It's 300 bucks. 50 people. <laughs> that was that was what I paid for with the wedding rehearsal dinner and the wedding ring. The wedding ring is kind of expensive, but a lot of the wedding itself, usually the wife's family pays for that. That's kind of the old custom, but you know, if you're having to chip in, how strong is that gator? Probably strong, right? Yeah, he's pretty strong. I better not mess with him. All right, he's coming for you. So, he did come up and clear my ward, but he it takes him time to do that, which is time he's not farming. So, he's paying an XP and gold to clear my ward. So, it may look dumb why I put that out there. It also baited him to stay, which eventually led to a kill right there. Um, oh, my God. So close. I was like 50 pixels away or whatever. 50 range away from being able to lock at you. I need static shit. I can't clear through a cannon, though. I was like, maybe I can clear and, like, put grubs on the tower or something, but... Oh, my God. Why the fuck is he there? <laughs> fuck you guys. Oh, he's mad about that one. Man, if he arrows me like fade away, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> okay. Just trying to stick around and see if I could get like if you kill somebody, if I get an assist. I can't I'm just way too low. Gator's gonna one tap me. Oh god, I'm coming. Oh god! <laughs> Gator strong. Bots pushed in. Alright, maybe we can get crab here at least. Kill this dude? Or not you? Yeah, you probably need to back out of there. If they face check this though, fuck. Really? When the fuck did they ward that? God. Okay, Diego's almost here. Just push up mid. Okay. That's what we need. I guess we can't do Baron yet. A little far. Um, push up. Yeah, that's fine. You go back. 
you want. Nice, yeah. I'll push this up with uh, him and. Uh, I'm going back. I'm not gonna be able to get through one more wave. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know your financial situation. I just think you know. Obviously, at face value, I would say, you know, usually not a great idea to spend a very large portion of your income on, um you know, something that's a luxury item, effectively, but, you know, I do think it matters how much is that going to improve your quality of life. I'm just going to get an orb here. I don't know how much exactly Yumi's healing for. She doesn't have Moonstone yet. She's probably going to get Redemption next, I would assume, or, yeah, I think that's Redemption. Could be Moonstone. Moonstone doesn't have any healing shielding power, though. So, and then, like, Blather and King is healing a little bit. Renekton's healing some. So, probably not going to put up a huge number, but just for, like, a little half item. Seems pretty good. Fizz is kind of garden for us, too. Yeah, they're all going down there. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah, they sent, like, five bottom. Okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> got that two and five Alawi. What's up, Morgan? Hey, buddy. Hope you're doing a little better. Yeah, that's what I think. You gotta balance it out, short term, long term. It's a little different for everybody. Oh, I should have. That almost killed him. I should have put um, Knight's Vow on him. Shit. I need a jump! Oh god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> okay, shouldn't have gone that far. Yumi kept him up. Uh. Yup. Can you end? I don't know. He's pretty low. Yeah, you can probably get it. Just, yeah, just get the Nexus. Okay. Some champs are just OP. I mean, some champs are better than others for sure. And it does depend on your elo and your team comp and your experience on the champ. But yeah, some champs are definitely better than others in different situations. Caught... I can't, unfortunately. I wish I could, but I still got to do some class stuff and then get up in the morning. Um, almost. If it was like, if it was like twelve, fifteen or something, I could have. But um, I should be caught up with all my grading and. This logistical stuff tomorrow, so I can probably stay up a little bit later tomorrow. <clears throat> but, anyways, all right. Well, another fifty-fifty. Um, kind of holding serve, so hopefully we can break out. Um, we were doing good. If I just, you know, we may still have lost last game, but if I stayed down bottom, it definitely would have helped. So, but, uh, anyways, all right, man. Well, GGS. I'll catch you next time. See ya. <clears throat> okay well that's got to be it for me unfortunately i really wish i could get three games in here we'd have to start a bit earlier but it's tough because jason you know works he's back uh he's back at work so it's tough and i didn't really get a good nap in today sometimes i try to get a couple hours of sleep from like 9 to 11 <clears throat> p.m and then i can get up and you know get away with a little bit less sleep but i'm still gonna have to get up at like you know, 7 a.m. in the morning. So that's like six hours and change from now. So I need to, and I'm a bit older, you know, so I definitely need to try to get the uh, recommended sleep. Uh, oh, I 
I see all your stuff. Give away. Yeah, that sucks, man. I'm sorry, especially about the real life stuff with the girlfriend. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't know your situation. I said, so it's tough to say. I mean, my first thought is, you know, you probably find somebody better or someone that, you know, ideally you want somebody who's going to support you no matter what, but it's like, <clears throat> it's hard to, you know, sometimes it's hard to find that. But hopefully, you know, something good happens out of that. Either, you know, you guys are able to work it out or, you know, maybe you find somebody else. Um, it's good, but yeah, league is league is not a great way of de-stressing. If you're already like really stressed out in your life, league is definitely not that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we talked about it a lot last time. It's just you know, I think you can win with pretty much any champ. Some are just going to be a little bit easier to win with than others, depending on your experience in the elo and your play style and all that kind of stuff. I think soul can be good. But, you know, he is a scaling champ, so if the rest of your lanes just completely fall apart all the time, it can be trickier. He can roam pretty well, though. League is pretty... League can be stressful. I mean, it depends on your perspective, but compared to especially, like, a lot of single-player games or more chill games, it definitely can be kind of stressful. So, you know, I think a lot of people play it for kind of the competitiveness of it for the challenge, which, like, that little bit of stress can be good, but if it's kind of overdone, then, yeah, it can be negative. So it's a definitely a balancing scale and kind of depends on, yeah, your personality and stuff like that. But, um, like, I wouldn't recommend League to a lot of my friends who have never played it before. You know, especially, like, more casual people that can only play, you know, video games one or two hours a night. Um... So I've had some friends ask, like, oh, should I get in? Should I try that out? I can play it with you. I'm like, dude, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Probably. I was like, you can. But even just starting it, it's like, okay, you got to put in 120 hours just to get to level 30 to play ranked. It's like, what? Um, but anyways, I got to get out of here. So unfortunately, I'd love to stick around and, and chat with you guys, but... Hey, what's up, Pumpkin? I appreciate it, man. Thanks. I know, time goes by really fast, doesn't it? It's just like, it really does feel like, you know, 2017, 2018, you know, when the channel was really, you know, pretty fresh and kind of popping off. Um, we're doing like the viewers nights and, you know, getting 150, 200 people, whatever, um, at a time. Like, that was cool. I still like the low-key stuff, just hanging out with 10 to 20 people, though. Doing, like, less hours. But I would like to, over the summer, be able to get back to maybe you know, putting in a few more hours and making some more content, some more guides and stuff like that. But, you know, as I said before, <laughs> it's just a lot hot, harder with both my daughters a little bit older. I'm teaching more classes. We're trying to spend more time with family and friends and just a lot more like, you know, just yard work and stuff like that. Like our yard at this house is a lot bigger and just takes like more maintenance and stuff like that. We got a little bit more property. Um, than we had when I was in Ohio. But, thanks man, I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks man, I appreciate it, that's cool. We're still out here most nights. We still, you know, make it most nights sometime between 11 and 1. Um, hey, thanks Visigoth. Yeah, that's another thing I'm doing, is I'm trying to eat healthier, get a little bit more sleep, and I've been like working out a bit more, so... Um, you know, that takes up time and I'm just like more tired from doing all these other things too. So I'm trying, I'm trying, but we'll see if we can, um, get on and do at least two or three games most nights and then weekends. Maybe I can try to do a little bit more and see if I can finally catch up with guides or maybe play some other games. I would like to finish Baldur's Gate three that I started, but I haven't played in a while. Um, or do some more like Total War, but it's only so many hours in the day. We'll see what we can do. Anyways, thank y'all very much. Always appreciate you. Um, we'll be back tomorrow um, for anyone who wants to come out. And otherwise, have an awesome day. And we'll see everybody next time.